M0FXP, welcome to my channel. So back on test is the DR380 by Warui. It's a VHF UHF radio, also has GPS, DMR. It's a very nice looking radio and I really like the backlit buttons and the microphone has this really nice looking orange microphone. So the previous firmware was, what well, really uh, the basics were that it wasn't usable, but this new firmware is usable. I'm just going to go into it and then I'll just show you the one thing that it needs. So first of all, let's just go to basic settings, then go to settings here. Okay. First thing you want to do is get your DMR ID in here. Choose English, a squelch level. Didn't touch relay. Didn't touch any of that, but we have selected after adding the channels and zones that it boots up on my hub net and my hotspot. So you're selecting zones and channels for when the radio turns on. We've put on GPS here, DMR, and then we have selected display. We have selected channel, channel alias as well. Channel alias. I will tick these. I'm not really sure whether you need to, but I will tick them. So what I've noticed now it is when you read and write to the radio, so you have read here, when you read the radio and write, it is doing that. When you open a file, go file and you open, it does open. So that's all working good. And also when you save, when you save, that's working good. So quite happy with that. Working frequency here, we've just selected. See the way it will, see this where you get, it, it will stall for a while. You get this revolving blue circle but it does refresh even the screen will gray out slightly <clears throat> but that's fine so let's just show you uh, once that stops a couple of channels so first of all you need to create really your contacts so let's go to contacts here contacts then double click contacts now i've created my favorite contacts which are here you can see I know it's at 90, see it says 92 there, that was 91. And we'll just save that, so just a slight little quirk there. Uh, but otherwise, the rest look correct. So you can name your contacts. Contacts are basically the DMR group that you are going to connect to when you transmit, so you need them. Tend to use private core if you want to contact someone individually. Uh, and we could have a disconnect. Anyway, so that looks good. So you've created a contact, you need a contact, otherwise you're not going to be able to create your channel. So once we've created contacts, the next thing we can do is go to channel. So here are the channels that I've created. Quite straightforward. So we'll do a digital one first, which is my hotspot. But it could be a repeater digital. So look, frequency, digital channel, low power I've selected then named it channel alias they call it and then double click the forward arrow you'll get to see the full in the full window digital channel low power timeout is important then down here well i haven't touched that for now we're not really doing the receive group list at the moment uh, so have a look we've named it hotspot 91 so i recognize it and talk group 91 is called worldwide so look that's our contact that's really important without selecting a contact for each channel, digital channel, you will not be, when you transmit, no one will hear you. So that we've selected talk group 91, which is worldwide. And there you are. And the frequencies are all here, 431550, RXTX. If it was a repeater, you would just have a different transmit frequency and maybe a different color code. So color code one for my hotspot and slot two I always use. So that's all good. Now we do need to put channels into zones. So what you do is double click zone here, start to create your zones. Now this is the part that still needs to be done. It's close, it's not quite there, but the bit that needs to still be done is the available channels here that we're gonna start putting into our zones are still numbered and they should have the names here, available channels, and even when we put them into selected channels, we need to see the alias, the, the alias or the name of the channel so it's easier for us to recognize because at the moment we're having to look at numbers. So for example, my hotspot, if I select hotspot in, in my zone and if we look at the digital ones, we've got number one, six, seven, eight and nine. Okay, I just need to push a few more in there. So six, seven, 
click the one you want to put in that zone that's called hotspot. Just make sure you have selected hotspot, like so. Then go across, across, okay? Then you can click your, I've got, I've got my hubnet zones. In my hubnet, I've only created one channel. That's an analog channel and that's channel number. I'm having to look for the number, number two, which is there. And then repeaters, I've created some analog repeaters here, which is three and four. Now, if we saw, like I said, if we saw the name, we wouldn't be looking at the numbers because that can be quite, you know, quite slow. So that's all good. So now what we do is we, once we've created the zone, we've put the channels inside the zones. So you've got to remember that zones are groups of channels so that you can find them easier on the radio. Send that across. We've got the channels in the zones. We've created contacts. We've done our basic settings. So the next thing we can do is let's see if there's any more settings here. We've done that. That's that's default as SMS channels, groups, scan radio contacts. Can't see anything else. Can't see the buttons. I was looking for the the buttons. Can't set let's try settings. No, uh, let's try again. Just to decide what the buttons do. Device, if anyone can see that, am I blind? Basic information. No. So that's the thing I can't seem to see is buttons. Otherwise, oh yeah, for radio, we click radio, we put in a frequency, dual watch, contacts we've done. Address. But now we haven't tried importing any CSV files. We're not sure if it would do that. Receive group lists. So if we imported contacts, let's double click contacts. We can, it does allow us to import. It's just how, how many ID zero to it. It does say here, one, six, seven, six, four, one, five. That seems quite a lot. <laughs> Um, so the only way we're going to know is if we test that. Well, we'll do that in a completely separate video because what we want to do is, is, is a, yeah, is a receive, a separate selection for receive available selected. So that's that's one we're going to have to look at in the future. So let's just write that to the radio. Let's cancel that. We want to write it to the radio. Click OK. And it, you can see the radio starts to say PC program. We, I did do a boot up picture. That seems to have gone in, look. File, power on logo, there you are. And I just selected one here, open, and then I wrote it. And it did work fine. It does look a bit weird, but it's in there. So the next thing is to um, have a little look at the radio. At the moment, it's in VF, it's in VFO mode. If we hold down VM or we'll push VM, that's on the B section. If we go to the A VM, let's turn on my hotspot and see if we can hear anything. Do that now. With a bit of luck, we should hear something. I'll make the radio a bit bigger. Okay, well let's uh, let's just um, try and connect. We've got our hubnet node at the top. We're going to connect using the DTMF. Let's see if that works. Try that. Go to the B section. See if we can find someone on talk group 91. So there it is transmitting. 431.550. Zone 1. Colour code 1. Slot 2. And it's TG91. There you go, you can hear it in the background. Oh, thank you, Charlie. You are a signal. You are, you're a five and nine, uh, a very good signal uh, into Albany, Georgia. My name is Robert. 73 on your file. Charles, nice to talk with you. 903. 
All right, we'll just try and get a contact. Nine Hotel Four Charlie Mike, are you receiving M Zero FXB? See if we get received from Nine Hotel. That's me, Andreas. Seems to be working fine. Yeah, good evening from the UK. I'm just testing out a budget DMR radio and you'll be all coming through nice and clear. Just a budget radio and a hotspot. Back to you, Charles, M0 FXB. Bit of break up there, but it seems to be working fine. QSL, QSL, yeah, well, it's working well. This little radio is actually called a Warui. You never would have seen it. It's a tiny little thing. Uh, it's all full of lights and colour buttons and everything. I'm just testing it out. And uh, you're the first cup contact on it. So it's a Warui D300. So, uh, yeah, it's sounding good. And um, Five Star System's working well. Back to you. I'm also on a DV Mega Hotspot. Thanks for watching my channel, 7-3, all the best.